How much do you think you know about triangles and photography? How many of you think of triangles when I'm speaking about landscape photography? Do you really think that there is a true connection between triangles and photography? Do you really think so? Hello everyone, my name is Toma. I'm a full-time landscape photographer from 2009. This channel is all about photography and landscape and travel photography and also gear reviews. So if you're interested in this kind of topics, then make sure to subscribe for more similar videos. Also in the description of this video, you can find my photo tours, my workshops, my editing courses. Now let's move on to the video and let's talk about why triangles are connected to photography. My personal opinion is that the triangle is the perfect shape in landscape photography that can convey an idea. It's the perfect way in which you can direct the viewer's attention towards the subject. And I think the best way to show you is by example. So I've prepared 13 photos and we will discuss them and I will graphically show you where are those triangles and how you can see them in nature because there is no place in nature where you're going to see a perfect triangle but you have to envision it and you have to understand it and then you will probably have a different idea of how you can direct the attention of the viewer towards something that you want the attention to go to. Now let's quickly take a look at these images and analyze them. I don't want to waste any time. So we are starting with this photo from Norway. It's a sunset. We have a really simple cottage and this peak behind it. And the triangles are this. This is the first triangle that supports the bigger triangle, of course. And it also helps that the light is falling um, on this mountain. And I've captured the, the shadows starting from here and going down and this way you have the attention over here again a long exposure in Tuscany you may wonder where is the triangle well the entire editing is supporting this um, cypress trees but the orientation of the clouds the movement of the clouds helped a lot and if you are thinking if that this is luck no this is not luck you position yourself you do a short long exposure you determine the movement of the clouds and then you position yourself in such a way that you have a movement towards the subject. Then we have this photo from uh, Secheda in the Dolomites and we have these triangles. We have the starting point which is uh, in shape of a triangle and then the peak. Now a very important aspect of this photo is that this side of the triangle is longer because this side benefits from this foreground and you don't need a longer side. In fact, if I would have had a longer side to this um, part of the triangle, the photo would have been um, not, not in a perfect equilibrium, if you want. Again, a dramatic moment in the Dolomites. Dolomites are these mountains where wonderful things of light and clouds and mist are happening. So we have a forest triangle that supports the, the, the background triangle. Again, the Dolomites. Here I'm using a reverse triangle. And this is a technique that I'm using a lot. I'm shooting like this, and I have this reverse triangle, and then the, the upper part transforms in another triangle, and you have the attention concentrated over here. And you're gonna see this technique uh, throughout my photos. This is, again, a photo from the Dolomites, uh, and I have this major element, which is the subject, which is the main triangle, and then I have this triangle that goes takes you up and these two on the side that work as stopping element these are elements that help you concentrate your attention going up to the base here and then uh, analyzing and looking at the scene we have this again the reverse triangle this one and then this one again here we have a really big triangle over here and then we have a support triangle that it's coming from the right side. And then where these two major lines intersect on this vertical, I'm placing the subject. And my lock, of course, it has a triangle, kind of like a triangle shape. Don't think that you'll find perfect triangle shape, shapes in nature, but you're gonna find some hands of those, um, of those triangles. Here's um, a photo from Slovenia and we have a big triangle over here and then the, the subject over here now 
not always you can control the shape of the subject, but the shape of the of the land of how the leading lines are taking your view towards the subject can be controlled. And again, I'm having this road that go takes you there and then this way of placing myself under the tree where again I have like a leading line going there and taking you back here. Again, a sunset in Norway, we have a small triangle here and a bigger one over here. And the final image, which is filled with triangles. And this is the first triangle, this is the bigger one, and this is another one. This is the main, the main direction of the composition. These two triangles on the sides, again, are stopping elements, are elements that help you concentrate your attention uh, to this mountain in the back. This was it for today. Hope you like it. Hope you love it. Hope you learn something. Hope you'll subscribe. <laughs> Lots of hopes. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.